staying on the cloudy side with a few breaks giving way to some of that sunshine a little later this afternoon. Most of the day will be dry. We could be contending with a few rain chances early to our south and then maybe some rain chances a little bit late. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Four o'clock. This is when the clouds are breaking. And so we get a little bit of sunshine. Clouds will roll back in. And so overnight going into tomorrow morning, I'm not going to roll out a stray shower. The data here picking up maybe a little sprinkle or two in Livingston County, but a lot of that fizzles out. Now we don't see much until tomorrow afternoon, really. And that is even going to stay north into the thumb, maybe even north of Lapeer. But the widespread stuff that comes after seven tomorrow. So kickoff for high school football could be dry but most of the game probably will not be. This is 8 o'clock where you see from Ann Arbor all the way up towards Saginaw, Sandusky, Mount Clemens, Detroit, getting the rain showers that fills in throughout the evening. So even at midnight, widespread steady showers are across the area. That's midnight Friday going into Saturday morning. Speaking of Saturday morning, now the intensity increases. So we're talking about moderate to heavy steady showers for your Saturday morning. Good news is if you do have outdoor plans Saturday, hopefully it's midday because we could get a little break. However, it's going to be soggy out there from all of that rain and then more rain develops later in the afternoon, five, six o'clock onward where some more showers will roll through. Then come Sunday, this becomes much more spotty and scattered. So let's start with tonight. Mostly cloudy, 48 lighter winds out of the northeast and tomorrow back in the upper 50s mostly cloudy with the widespread rain and some gustier winds developing as we get in the later part of the evening. Now we have yet to have a frost and the later the fall frost, the longer the fall allergies last. This is new data coming in from Climate Central when it comes to freeze free fall days. And now we're seeing that extended by almost three weeks, which means if it takes three weeks longer to get that frost, three weeks longer to deal with these allergies, moderate levels of mold right now. Talking about those rain showers this weekend, you can see how they're widespread Saturday with that warm front. But as that low trickles in on Sunday, maybe spotty early and then going again into the afternoon. Rainfall forecast picks up maybe an inch or two of rain before it's all said and done this weekend. And those winds will possibly be gusting around 30 miles per hour as we head into Saturday afternoon. So that's what we're looking forward to. Otherwise, temperatures steadily stay in the 50s. If you're heading out to the Freep Marathon, I think that there might be a nice window where we're drying out. But otherwise, Saturday's a washout and we're staying cooler than average for seven days.